First, we need to remember the full definition of osmosis. Osmosis is the movement of water molecules from an area of higher water potential to an area of lower water potential across a partially permeable membrane. We can't forget the partially permeable membrane part. So what do we mean by water potential? Well, if we had a scale of water potential, the highest possible water potential value of a solution is zero, which would be pure water. As we add more solute, like sugar or salt, the solution gets more concentrated and the water potential gets more negative. Basically, the higher the water potential of the solution, the more watery it is. Okay, but what do we mean by a partially permeable membrane? This is a membrane barrier which allows water to pass through it, but not the solute. Here, the blue water molecules can get through the gaps in the membrane, but the dissolved orange glucose molecules are too large. Osmosis, like diffusion, is a passive process. It does not require energy input, as it relies on the constant random movement of water molecules. The process will continue until both sides of the membrane reach an equal water potential. Animal cells and plant cells are affected by osmosis. If animal cells are surrounded by a solution that is less concentrated than their cytoplasm, or hypotonic, water will move into them by osmosis. They will swell and may eventually burst if the solution surrounding them is more concentrated than their cytoplasm or hypertonic, water will move out of the cell by osmosis and they will shrivel. When plant cells are surrounded by a hypotonic solution, water moves into the cell by osmosis and this causes the cell to swell and become turgid. This is a plant cell's normal state and the cell wall prevents the cell from bursting. In a solution of equal concentration to the cytoplasm, uh, which is isotonic, there will be no net movement of water and the cells may be a bit flaccid and the plant may start to wilt. Finally, if the plant cells are surrounded by a hypertonic solution, water moves out of them by osmosis and the cell shrinks, the cell membrane starts to come away from the cell wall in a process called plasmolysis. And that's it for this video. See if you can answer these questions to check your understanding. The answers are in the description. Please like, subscribe and comment if you want and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.